All right, you are listening to live from the corner of the basement. The literally underground sessions. And today we have Jay Fernandez. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, do you want to just introduce the band real quick? Yeah, um, we have Joey Murphy on organ, Drew Ryan on bass guitar, and Mike Gillowin on drums. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming in again. If you guys want to get started, uh, we'd, we'd love to hear what you guys have brought in today. Cool. Yeah.
conversation and everything is fine. Listening to live from the corner of the basement, the literally underground sessions with Jay Fernandez sounds awesome, guys. Yeah, yeah, great stuff, guys. Thanks. So uh, I think next song that you guys are gonna play is called "Memorize Now," right? Off your new EP. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll take it away.
All right, you guys are listening to KCOU live from the studio. Uh, sound great, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks. All right, so uh, we're going to ask a couple questions now. Sure. Um, I know you guys have a show tonight in Colombia. Where's that at? It's at uh, Cafe Berlin. Cool. Uh, it's really awesome that you guys are able to come through here to Columbia. We're really glad to have you. I know you guys uh, have been on tour recently, so I just kind of wanted to go back a little bit farther than that and ask about the beginning of Jay Fernandez. So how did that really start, and how did you guys all come together as a band and meet up and really start performing uh, in this setting right here? Um, it mainly started as a home recording project, as I feel like most, a lot of bands do start that way. Um, I recorded six songs for a cassette tape, and I put that out, and I didn't really expect anything um, more than that. But then I recorded like a couple more songs, and eventually a couple of friends of mine just sort of convinced me to put something together for a live show. And I, I played in like several different bands previously. I played in another band with Justin. Yeah, we've all played in different groups together, but so it wasn't really hard to find people to play for this stuff. So was it just kind of like you guys were all in the same like music scene? You guys all like had yeah. seen each other's live shows? Yeah, we, we've all been like kind of in the same uh, scene or group of people. So. Okay, totally, yeah. Um, so your new newest EP that came out October, right? Yeah. Of uh, 2014? Yeah. It was definitely a uh, much wider sound like you guys were able to do a lot more than you did a couple of years back on your other album is that just simply because you guys got like new equipment or was that like always what you wanted to do do you always want your sound to sound to be that like expansive um i think i just got better at recording um the first the first thing i recorded i, I didn't really know what i was doing and then the second ep came out and it was like the quality was slightly better, and then I feel like this past one, I feel like the quality was, um, I feel like it just keeps keeps getting better. So Yeah, yeah, definitely. Awesome. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, you guys have been on tour uh, for a little bit now. How long has that been that you've been touring around, really? Oh, we, we just left like two days ago for this thing. But this, this is only like a four-day thing. Um, our friends from Kansas City are... And Shy Boys, they like invited us to come on the short tour with them. So, but we're not playing with them tonight. And uh, out of all the places that you have been to so far, just not even this tour, but just in general, what would you would you say is the coolest place that you've been, or the the best experience you've had? And you don't need to say Columbia; we get it. <laughs> but just out of all the places, what would you say would have been probably the best experience for you guys? Probably when we played in Mexico. Yeah, definitely crossing. Yeah, we, we played a weird festival down there called Festival Normal last year, and uh, I don't think any of us had ever been there before, so it was kind of a treat to, to be able to, I don't know, explore somewhere new. Yeah, yeah especially in, in an international place as well. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's very cool. All right, so uh, <clears throat> now after your newest EP that just came out, uh, I don't know if you guys are like planning on recording anytime soon. Are you guys trying to get like a bigger tour started? Um, well, we have something. We're going on another trip in a couple weeks to go down south, and then we're playing a couple of shows in Austin. Mm. And then um, I think we have a, a tour planned for May as well. And we have a record, a new record coming out in. Um, June, or late April, early June. Okay. So, um, yeah, and that'll be like a full length, like a nine song. Right, like nine EP. Awesome. Gotcha. And so, for the future of the band, you have mentioned that you, all the way, tour plans through uh, May, you have releases going through the summer. Uh, what are exactly the long-term goals? Is this something that you do want to continue pursuing uh, as a long-term thing, as Jay Fernandez performing uh, those songs specifically, is that something that you are looking forward to doing? Um, yeah, I just, I hope to get better at what I'm doing. Um, so I'll probably always keep writing new stuff. It might not always be under the same name, but yeah, 
Awesome. Well, we are so glad you guys were able to come through. Thank you so much for joining us for the Literary Underground sessions today. Uh, we hope you guys can come back to Columbia another, uh, Columbia another time, but again, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah thanks. Thanks. This has been Live from the Corner of the Basement, the Literary Underground Sessions with Jay Fernandez.